back out at the park <laughs> because I bought Albert a baby drone. I call it a baby drone. trash can and because Albert bought me the FPV wing that you saw in another video. Oh, hey, well, I don't be the only asshole flying one, so I bought Wayne one too. Oh, we're gonna go fly these together and fucking wreck them. We're gonna go out and have fun and make a new video. So now we got these. The baby drones are probably better for us. <laughs> and we're gonna try them out today. Albert's gonna fly. It costs less to break. Yeah, it's, you know, but it's still expensive if you break it. <laughs> I mean, $100 is $100, but. <laughs> okay, and then Albert's gonna fly some acro and do some flips and I don't, know. I don't know. All right, well, you get up. You're the one that has more time than on these things than I do. All right, well, let's just see how shitty we do on these little things today. How about that? Bro, plugged it in. Thanks. <laughs> plugged it in, lost connection? Yeah, I all I see is it. So we so so we have the Ishin trash can and we have we have it on 2S right now, but you can fly it on 1S. But <laughs> what the f and uh, this way we can fly acro mode outside and do some cool flips and stuff. I'm filming the screen anyways. Don't get away from me, I can feel you. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buzz your ass. I could I could feel you close to my mouth. I'm gonna get you, Albert. I want it. Don't start it right there, Garrett. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna fly forward into me and clock. <laughs> please, please be safe with it. Garrett, don't do what you're about to do. Oh, come on. I'm doing it for, I'm, I'm, oh, oh. Wayne, Wayne. This is exactly how Garrett flew it again. a year ago. You do fine when you're out there. Just don't fly it above us because I just don't want it to fall on my head. I don't want to get Alberted. Wow. Just call it out if it's going to land on us. Just call out like <laughs> heads up because I'll protect my <laughs> noggin. That was insane. Dude, don't do that. Howard, tell us, tell us how you like the little baby drone compared to the big drone because the big one, you you seemed violently out of control. And no, it wasn't it was violently terrifying. out of control. The problem is, it's just, it's, it's, it's farther, well, farther range, it's faster. It's bigger. And then, yeah, when you come in hot, it, it's coming at you. It's a little terrifying. So, yeah, and also, there's people all around us here at the park right now, like usual, but I, I wouldn't feel as bad if I came in hot and I just or disarmed it as I hit someone. <laughs> I wouldn't feel that bad. If I came in with my 250 and I nailed someone, 
Well, obviously we're not flying close to it anyways, no. but like if it got out of control. But like just right now, so right now I'm flying pretty good doing flybys and all of a sudden my batteries died. Yeah. And also I came down and I came in hot and it happens. But no, this little thing's fun. For the for the bank for bug though, it's pretty fun. Well, we're worth it. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> Okay, so there's just a few things that I wanted to go over for the end of the video, and in it's in reference to like how good this is compared to everything else that we've been flying. This is in its own class. I mean, you can see that it's its own beast compared to something like this. It flies completely differently. This is a lot safer than this. I mean, this this can be dangerous. If you're out there flying this thing around and you don't know what you're doing, this thing can chop you up. So like Albert said, these drones are a lot safer, a lot more fun, and easier to fly than something like this that we've been flying. This can be way more fun because of the ability to fly further, faster, higher, and do more tricks. But when you're just starting out, you're probably not going to want to jump something straight like this. Unless you spend a lot of the time on a simulator and you really get a good idea of how the controls work. Or if you, you take this out to uh, an abandoned place, a big field, somewhere where you can't hit a lot of things and you can't hurt a lot of people. But you don't want to fly this near anything of importance or, or people if you don't have a good grasp of the controls because you've got these huge blades just spinning out here freely with no no protection so I mean this could be a dangerous thing if you fly it somewhat rec recklessly this was one of the second things that I picked up because I actually picked up the big uh, the big drone first and I flew on a simulator for a while I flew on a simulator and practiced with the big, big drone and then I got one of these. Um, I didn't even know these existed, but so it's an FPV drone that is small and tiny and not so dangerous because if this donks you in the head, it's not such a big deal. You're not going to get that hurt. Um, more than likely, you're going to break this thing before you break somebody with it. Um, and that's one of the problems with this is that these frames, let me see, these frames are so weak that they they just break um, mine so this part right here actually isn't this is aftermarket this is like a an attached carbon fiber piece so this is like an aftermarket piece that you get to kind of like stabilize the frame so it doesn't break as easily but then you're adding more weight and this thing falls off and you have to find that thing so this if you can see like look at this look at this one right here it's completely broken like I can't even fly this right now because this this frame just snaps if you hit anything with remote amount of speed it this frame just breaks but it is a really really good learning tool for flying drones because you can fly inside you can learn how to hover you can go through things it gives you a good idea of the controls but not necessarily um, how to fly one of the bigger ones. This is fun and it's almost it's almost perfect for me almost. I say almost because I think my ideal one would be the next step up with a camera that has a higher quality uh, video camera in it because this doesn't do HD recording and I like to make videos so this isn't really going to cut it for me. It's fun and it's fast. It's way f ow. It's way faster than the baby drone. 
It can do flips, it can do acro, it can fly in the wind, it can fly outside. It's great. And it's less dangerous than a big drone. But at the same time, it, as you can see in the video, I, I had to use the goggle recording to show you the flight of this. And in the goggle recording, it's just not... It's just not cool enough for me. I, I need to get the, the HD recording one and I need to have HD video out of this. They sell different versions of uh, these drones and, and different companies make them where they actually do have HD recorders in them. And they do sell different versions and other companies do sell other drones that have HD recorders in them. And I, I think that was my mistake was buying this before researching that and I wish I would have gotten one of the ones with the HD recorder so the Ishin trash can it, it, is, it flew great for me it was fun it was a good time it just wasn't quite there with the recording I, I need to get one that does better HD recording if you've never used Betaflight or CleanFlight or any of those programs to program your drones before you're gonna need to get in there and change some stuff, especially if you buy this from Banggood, which I did. If you buy this on Banggood, you're gonna need to check the controls because mine was set up, mine was set up somewhat, but not fully set up. I was missing a few things and I had to change some controls around. I think the, uh, uh, the controls were backwards um, for the roll or something like that or whatever it was. I had to change a few things. It's not hard. There's a lot of people that make great tutorials. Uh, just check uh, on YouTube and Google it, and you should be able to figure it out. It's not that hard, and I, I really didn't know anything about it beforehand because I didn't do any tuning on my big drone because I bought this from a U.S. retailer that did some programming for it beforehand, before they sent it to me. So I didn't even have to um, do any tuning. Uh, it just flew great. Now, it does have some wobbles, as you saw in some of the other videos. It, for, for video, it, it wasn't that great, but granted, I, I didn't know how to program it. I don't know how to tune it, so I, I still need to work on that. But otherwise, it flew fine, and it flew great, because at least the controls were set there. This one was a little bit different. I'm using a monitor, and I keep looking in the monitor, and I just can't help it. I just keep looking at the monitor every time. It should be right here. This is really what the I put the focus over here. For my final thoughts, I think this is a great little drone, and it's fun, and it's safe, and you can learn how to fly. You can fly on 1S instead of 2S, that way you don't get out of control too quickly. Uh, 1S is still pretty fast, and I still really wouldn't fly this indoor unless you're good at it, or if you don't have a lot of things you want to knock over and break. But 2S outdoors, so capable, it's so fast, it can do everything outdoors that the big drone can do. Um, so I would highly recommend getting a, a little mid-sized drone like this and really learning how to fly before you get one of the big ones. This is just, the, I feel like this is the perfect way for most people to learn how to fly way better before you uh, start breaking things on the big ones. Because if I've crashed this multiple times and it just bounced off. Um, granted, I mean, it could have broke if I was going faster, but this, I've already replaced a motor on this. I've already replaced a motor, I've already replaced, um, props, um, antennas, I've broken multiple antennas. Luckily, I haven't broken the frame. Um, I lost a screw, um, I'm still missing a screw right here. Uh, I didn't even know that, I just saw that, that's, that's not good. This is a whole nother investment. These these drones just become a huge investment uh, if you start crashing them right away. So why not learn on the little drone and then just step up to the big one. So that's it for me guys. If you liked the video, hit subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, hit the like button if you liked it. And I got a few more videos coming out. Recently we went to, on a few more trips. So hope I see you guys there. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.